Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell for future content. Hello world, this is a red mage at the level 70 guide, this is Shadowbringers 5.1. At level 62, we get Enhanced Jolt, upgrades Jolt to Jolt 2. Also increases the potency of Ver Thunder and Ver Arrow to 350, and the potency of the Ver Fire and Ver Stone to 300. At level 64, we get ourselves Ver Rays, resurrects targets where we can state. It has a very long cast time and a very large MP cost. The key point behind Ver Rays is basically make sure you toss this guy out as much as possible. Your MP is not as valuable as the healer's MP. Uh, just do not spam this. Um, pretty much a soft cap for your MP bar is 40 to 50 percent, uh, roughly halfway through, maybe a little bit less. So you can toss out three ver raises at once, uh, and that's it. No more. Focus DPS. Like I mentioned before, with the ver cure, if the healer is down, it is up to the red mage to basically keep the party afloat um, by basically tossing these out to your tank. Uh, toss these out to the other DPS. Just make sure you and the tank do not die. If you do not die, the healer can be brought back. If the tank does not die, everybody else doesn't go into chaos. Level 66, we got Impact. Deals magic damage with the potency of 222. Target and all enemies nearby. Its additional effect increases both black mana and white mana by 3. It has a very long cast bar. Try and do not hard cast this guy. This will essentially take over for Ver Arrow or Ver Thunder for two or more targets. Level 68, we get Ver Flare, deals 5 damage with the potency of 600. It is instant cast with a recast into off global, MP cost of 400. Ver Thunder switches to Ver Flare, increases black mana by 21, 20% 20 chance of becoming Ver Fire ready, duration of 30 seconds. Level 70, we get Ver Holy, deals magic damage to the potency of 600. It is instant cast with a spell recast into off global with an MP cost of 400. Ver Arrow switches to Ver Holy, increases white mana by 21, 20% chance of becoming Ver Stone ready, duration of 30 seconds. Now, but not always, you want to execute your Ver Flare while your white mana is higher than your black mana at time of execution. And inversely for Ver Holy, being your black mana is higher than your white mana. It's perfectly fine if both your black mana and white mana are equally the same. As long as you keep doing your rotation, eventually both of those numbers will become indifferent. You have Verse Stone, Ver Fire ready, and what to do uh, if either one of those are active or both of them are active at the same time. Your finisher ready, you're going to toss either Ver Flare or Ver Holy. Uh, for instance, if you have your uh, Verse Stone uh, uh, ready and you're going to toss your finisher, use your Ver Flare. Even though you may want to toss your Ver Holy, uh, your Ver Stone is ready. Um, just toss your 20% chance for Ver Fire ready um, via your Ver Flare. For Red Mages, there's a thing called as the double down. I call it the double down because you're basically going from Ver Stone to Ver Arrow or vice versa, Ver Fire to Ver Thunder. I do this when I have a double procs. When both Ver Stone and Ver Fire are procced, just make sure you do not uh, overkill or overshoot the uh, the black and white mana. So go ahead and toss your Ver Stone into that Ver Arrow if the Ver Fire ready is up. Uh, if it's not, just go ahead and go across like you would normally do. For flare combo or rotation in general, you're going to use this guy until you get Ver Holy. So let's start off with Ver Cure into Swift Cast, Acceleration. Let's go ahead and do our Ver Thunder into Corpse of Corpse, Ver Arrow, then Displacement out. Let's get the Ver Fire into Ver Thunder. We're going to Contra Six Day into Fletch, then do the Ver Stone into Ver Arrow. Lucid Dreaming off global, Ver Fire into Ver Arrow, and we're going to off global Manification, Enchanted Repose, off global Embolden, Enchanted Swirchel, off global Corpse of Corpse, into the Enchanted Redoublement Displacement. Let's finish it with the Ver Flare. Now let's go back and do Ver Fire into Ver Arrow. And now from here, we're just going to do Jolts. So I'm not going to toss out the procs. So Jolt into Ver Arrow, Fletch, then Jolt into Ver Thunder, Jolt back into Ver Arrow, into the Contra 60, then Jolt into the Ver Arrow. At this point, we're just trying to balance out right before tossing the Acceleration Swiftcast. 
Vercure into the Swiftcast Acceleration. It's, again, it's similar to the previous. Let's do Ver Arrow into Corpse of Corpse, followed by Ver Thunder into Displacement. Let's do Ver Stone into our Ver Arrow, and then Contra 6 Day Fletch off Global. Ver Fire into Ver Thunder, Lucid Dreaming off Global, into Ver Stone, Ver Thunder, Manification off Global. Make sure you get to melee range. Let's do Enchanted Repose, Embolden, Enchanted Swirchel, Corpse of Corpse, Enchanted Redoublement. Displacement into that Verholy. Let's get the Verstone proc into Ver Thunder. Jolt out a Ver Thunder. Again, we're just trying to balance out. Let's do Fletch into Jolt 2. Ver Arrow into Jolt 2. Let's do that Ver Thunder into Contra 60. Jolt into Ver Thunder. Jolt into Ver Arrow and into the Acceleration Swift Cast. While you're getting to the Acceleration and Swift Cast, don't be afraid to toss out your weapon skill rotation if you have your proc. So for the uh, the AoE rotation, it, it's pretty much the same to level 60. Uh, scatter gets changed to impact, but the description is pretty much uh, the same thing. It's just the damage uh, goes up and the animation gets rebuffed. Mic sound good. Testing mic. Testing background music. Yep, sounds great. Alright, when the other DPS is ready, let's go ahead and jump in. They're probably doing fates. Yeah, they, they, they want to finish it. Come on, man, just hit that button. Dungeon's going to give you way more experience than a fate. Oh, that sucks. Yep, that was a very bad idea, bro. You do not, you do not cancel on a dungeon queue. Maybe they were doing the Tigris. <laughs> Maybe they had nine retainers just like, oh no, I don't want Swallow's Compass. Alright, so this is going to be the uh, Red Mage up to level 70 guide. This is a dungeon example, and we have Alamigo. Cue the dungeon sounds. I hope the I hope my voice sounds better than usual. I'm, I'm hoping um, this kills the uh, sibilance. Well, with that, let's go ahead and jump in. So this is El Amigo, level 70, uh, level 70 red mage. Uh, get me out of this bubble. Get me out. Anyway, as always, uh, I don't abide to rotations. I like to have my have my fun, and uh, I will try to do my best in terms of rotation. But this is mostly just for commentary. Okay, that's AoE. Okay, we're gonna balance it out. Let's get that off global. So I think about magnification is that I have one down to 80, another one down to 60. Uh, so I can throw off three of these into that magnification and then toss another four. It's two targets, so let's go ahead and wait till the tank grabs aggro. So let's get the Involin. It's one, two, three, modification. One, two, three, and four. Okay, pop the first one into Involin. Toss off globals in between. Let's go ahead and toss a dark. Let's do that displacement. I'm gonna get close. Not too close, I need to toss my spells. Okay, let's do the acceleration. It's going great. First stone into the thunder. And swift cast into the elements, and now we're going to try to double dip. Never mind. I'm gonna zoom out so I can see where the pattern is going. Okay, so we're going right, we're going to avoid the arm. And this little turret here is going to try to shoot me. I'm gonna stretch. I'm gonna try to help. 
this one over here. Okay, let's help this one. Just in case if they die, it's okay. I'm ready. They might make it. Ah, oh, they made it. Fantastic. Let me go back really quick. I shouldn't have used it there, but I'm not exactly perfect. Their fire into lights for a double dip. Alright, boss is over. I think this is pretty good for an example. Um, I'm going to finish the rest of this. Uh, you guys have a good one. And I uh, hope you like the, the new little things that I've done. And hopefully the voice, um, the, the voice sounds worked out just fine. You guys have a good one. And have a good uh, rest of your first week of Happy New Year. And take care.